All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakak Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, salutations to you, Akim, pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity. We are ready to live. Salute you. So I just want to, this is going to be really quick. This is going to be a quick message that I want to put out there. And um, I'm going to call it Strengthen Your Brother. As the scripture says, um, uh, when thou art con converted, strengthen uh, thy brethren, man. And, uh, you know, some camps are bigger than others. Some camps are smaller than others. You know what I'm saying? But whether a big or small camp, the scriptures talk about knowing the estate of your flock. All right. So I just want to put this message out to check on your brothers, man. All right. Do uh, what is a spiritual wellness check on certain brothers, man. You know, because the Lord said that, you know, uh, 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 when I was hungry, you fed me. You know, when I was in prison, you visited me. And if we do that, you know, by put, by doing this work, you know, and part of that work is um, strengthening your brethren. And, um, you know, as Christian says, don't look upon just the things of yourself, but look upon the things of others, man. So, hey, and especially if you have a brother, let's say you guys live in a, uh, he lives close to you. You may be the only brothers that live in that town. Check on that brother, man. Check on your brother. See where he's at in the spirit, man. The scripture says uh, 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 two is better than one. All right. How can one get heat alone, man? All right. So, you know, you probably haven't heard from a brother in a while. He could be in the corner spiritually dying, man. And you and and. And just ain't saying nothing, man. And you got to like really, you know, you know, you, you got to be the one that extend that hand sometimes. But sometimes brothers, you know, you got some brothers that are like that. They'll just, you know, get in their spider hole or turtle shell, so to speak. And they won't say nothing. The whole time they're suffering a spiritual death, man. All right. So we got to really uh, check on brothers and um, know the estate of our flock, uh, the flock, you know. You know, so this is not really a lesson. This is just a message I wanted to put out. Well, it is, but it's really quick. But, um, you know, you know, so whether you're in a big camp or a small camp, the Lord put the spirit on you to check on a brother, give him a call and, and add some warmth to that brother, man. You know, you know, add some warmth in that brother so he don't go cold, man. You know, you know, you know. Spirit get on you to check because some brothers are terrible. I'm personally terrible with calling brothers. You know what I'm saying? But every now and then, the Lord to put the spirit on me, hey, let check on this particular brother. I ain't heard from him in a while. I'm wondering where he's at in the spirit. I'm worried about him. You know, that's something that we should be doing, you know. So I just wanted to put that message out. Um, hope it was uh, some edification within it. Shalom.